uh, I think one of the exceptions that we had learned was that he had been with a, a woman. He, uh, uh, they were doing dope sex. And then for whatever reason, boom, he, he goes off, strangles her. She goes unconscious. Already, you know, that's it. He's thinking she's dead. He goes out and now he's digging a hole in the backyard. He's got to get rid of her. What happens with her is she actually isn't dead. She reawakens and then gets up, calls her boyfriend. He comes down and confronts Morris. Now they're in a fight. They're in a fight. Police do show up and they make some little incident report about something going on. You know, there's a little few wounds and stuff. But nothing's really said at that time. But she had discovered that there was a hole in the backyard. She would later come and testify that he choked her out. And then he took off and he was going to bury her. And she didn't want to, I think if my recollection is that she was on probation or something like that. So she just, hey, leave it alone. He's gone. My boyfriend and I are leaving. She didn't pursue it anymore until after his arrest. And then she would testify that. He choked her out. He, yeah. thought, he thought she was dead. And then he went out and he was digging. <laughs> she hears grave. the shovel. Yeah, or something like <laughs> yeah. that. And she awakens and, and it's like, oh boy. Uh, you know, so what? she doesn't call the police. Yeah, she calls her boyfriend. She calls her boyfriend. That's real down justice. The street. Right. <laughs> he comes down and of course they get yeah. into it. Oh my God. Hey, thanks for watching and or listening. And if you want to catch all the latest updates, uh, make sure you bang on that subscribe button.